military historians and economists, the 1990s stand out as an era of defense downsizing, which has devastated communities across America. Yet the city of San Diego stands apart with the largest naval and marine corps complex in the United States. San Diego is home to over one-sixth of the Navy's entire fleet. A dozen major military installations dominate the city's landscape. The Navy accounts for nearly 20% of the local economy. Over 133,000 men and women in uniform call San Diego their home, and some 30,000 civilians rely on the military for their livelihood. At first glance, the relationship between the Navy and San Diego may seem a natural one, the inevitable destiny of a city with a large natural harbor and mild climate. But for nearly a century, the story of the Navy and San Diego has been anything but natural. Instead, it's the story of classic urban boosterism, fortuitous timing, and calculating city fathers who were more than willing to adapt the city to the Navy's needs. As the 20th century began, San Diego was a fledgling resort community of just 17,000 people. Looking for ways to improve the economy and growth of the region, some civic leaders wanted San Diego to compete commercially with San Francisco's well-established harbor. Some also lobbied for heavy industry in San Diego, but others, equally vocal, wanted a slower, more pastoral future for the region. The debate came to be known as the battle between geraniums and smokestacks. While the voters sided with the smokestack faction and opted for economic growth and jobs, the region lacked an adequate water supply, commercial transportation networks, a skilled workforce, and a harbor deep enough to accommodate large ships. If San Diego was to become more than a sleepy resort town, it would need an economic miracle. 